In this video, I'm going to share with you a secret strategy on how you can get a 800 credit score within four to five days. Now, understand credit is simply an algorithm and it creates your credit score with five factors. So I'm going to show you a particular strategy and account that you can add on to affect this. But this strategy is going to depend highly on timing and the type of account that you add on to cause this effect. So you need to watch this video all the way to the end so this can be effective for you now when it comes down to your credit score as i said credit is just an algorithm based off of factors on your credit report most people have bad credit or no credit so when you have no credit you don't have any data to create your credit score. And when you have bad credit, you have negative data that is creating a negative credit score. So the key is, is to add on positive data to affect those five factors that makes up your credit score. So the first largest chunk and the biggest factor of your credit score is payment history how you paid your bills in the past is 35 percent then there's debt to available credit which is utilization if you have open credit card accounts how much available credit you have on that compared to the debt that makes up 30 percent of your credit score the third biggest factor is age of credit how old those credit lines that you have active on your credit report how long have they been open how long or how much age they have on that account and then you have mix of credit which is different types of accounts that's going to be 10 percent and age of credit is 15 percent as i mentioned and then the last category 10 percent is new inquiries are you shopping for credit how recently have you applied for credit so those make up those factors now with this strategy you're going to want to focus on three of the factors and that is payment history which is 35 percent utilization which is 30 percent and age of credit which is 15 percent and that makes up a total of 80 percent of your credit score but you're going to avoid getting another hard inquiry which is 10 percent of your credit score and can bring your score down negatively if you have inquiries and it costs you three to five points if you have a ton of hard inquiries I give you a free heart inquiry removal package at my website and I have other packages for purchase to help you remove negative items on your credit score. Now keep in mind, if you currently have a negative account like a charge off or collections lately, the bureaus have been reporting it late every month. Now for this strategy to work for you, you want to stop that. As long as you have a negative account that is not reporting late every month, you can make this effective, but you have to stop those accounts that keep dinging you every month because it keeps your score down. And it will do that for the next 90 days. You gotta stop that from hitting you and let that rest for the next 90 days. Cause any negative, new negative account, new negative reporting that hits your credit report is going to keep your score down for the next 90 days so you want to start implement this strategy after you stop that reporting now if you have that going on i have started my elite credit system with my ongoing credit coaching and this user sean was able to raise all three of his credit scores above a 700 credit score and one of his credit scores is close to that 800 credit score in a matter 
of a couple of months, three months. So if you want to join that, you can get my ongoing coaching. If you have those negative items dinging you like that, I'll leave all those links in the description of this video and in the pink comment section if you need to stop that. So you need to stop that from going on so this strategy can work for you because that dinging is messing with that age of credit. Now, if you're a person, say, hi, I have a charge off, but it's not reporting late every month or a collection, you're fine because as long as that negative item sit and it's not hitting you anymore, the longer it sit, the less that it affects your credit score. So those cases are fine. So what you want to do is add an account that's going to help those factors for that 80%. And the type of account that you're going to add is going to be an authorized user account. Now, an authorized user account is when you piggyback off of someone else's good credit history. Now, here's the key. Here's the strategy and the sauce to it. Understand if you already have two or one negative account, like a charge off that's not reporting late every month, for every negative account you have, you want to add two positive accounts, okay? So for every negative account, you want to add two positive accounts. So you want to add two, if you have one negative, you, which is, let's say, a charge off, you want to add two positive authorized user accounts. Now, here's the parameters for those accounts. You want it to have at least 10 years and plus age of credit. So that account you want is to be 10 years old or over age of credit. Now, the reason why if you had late payment history by that person adding you on, you're going to add on positive payment history. And if you're adding on two accounts, you're going to double that. Now, with that 10 years, it's going to help your age of credit. So we're hitting two factors right there that heavily makes up the algorithm of what creates your credit score. Now, what we need to do with that authorized user account for both of them, make sure that person that's adding you on, that that account utilization, which is 30% of your credit score, is 10 to 1% in between those categories. The utilization should be no more than 10% for a 1% to 10%. You want those two accounts to be there because it's gonna help that utilization. And so you got age of credit, 15%, box checked, utilization, box checked, and payment history. And if you have that one negative account, you're gonna add double the good payment history by adding that on. And so with the timing factor of this, so you can hit that window of time, you need to make sure for that four to five day period so you can get it added on, you got to follow this strategy. Once you locate someone to add you on, it could be your spouse or say you only, you know, your spouse only have one account that's 10 years age and have that utilization to that. They don't have another one. You can use another account from a friend or family member to be added on. So what you want to do is have that person to call their credit card company and find out what is the report date for that particular credit card. Meaning, when do they report that account to the credit bureaus? Once they find that information, they can add you on as that authorized user. So if you're doing it before that report date to get that information on, on that date, the new update for many credit card accounts 
that can show up very quickly on your credit report. Now, generally, the report date is going to be due date on your credit report. Usually five to four days after that is generally when the credit card company report before that person to make sure because you have with your months, your calendar months change, say February is coming up, it's 28 days. So that report date may not be as that four to five days. You want to make sure what is the report date so they can add you on and it can show up when that card report. Now, here's the thing, you guys. They have to make sure they give that company your social security number and you want to use their same address okay because if they that uh company don't ask for your social security number it will not report to your credit report because you can just be adding on with your name and your last name where the company thinking you're just going to use that card they're allowing you to use that card no you need the benefit of it reporting to your credit report. So they need to add your social security number and you wanna be at their address. The card comes to them because if they send it to your address, it can throw this timing off where it won't report in that quick timing. So you want to take that step. Now, like losing weight, or trying to uh, you know hit your fitness goal with weight loss if you do too much you notice you might hit a stall or a plateau the same thing goes with your credit so you might lose 10 pounds very quickly and um then you try the same activity and the next week you don't lose anything so the thing is because you just lost 10 pounds so you wanna make sure with your credit, when you add that account, you wanna let it report that first one in that four to five day window. Then once you see that report, you add on the next one the same way because once that first one report, boom, you'll see that increase in your credit score. And then right after that, you wanna add on the next authorized user account. And so you want to make sure you find one that's going to report right after that. So if that person card reports on the fourth of the month, you want the next one that maybe report date is on the 10th of the month. So you can make that window of time. So once that one report, now the next one report and boom, you get another increase in your credit score. So you want to implement those strategies. But like I said, keep in mind for you to get the best results, you want to fit in those factors. Now, this can work for you if that age of credit on that authorized user account is below 10 years. Can that work for you still? Can you see an increase? Yes, but the optimal is going to be that 10 year and more age of credit. And you definitely have to have their utilization down because if their utilization is close to being maxed out or if they have late payments on that account if it's 10 years old if they add you on you're going to inherit their late payments so you got to make sure that you have these factors in place so you can get the best results so hopefully this was helpful to you guys implement this strategy so you can boost your credit score fast and for some of you guys you're going to be in that 800 bracket by using this strategy. So if you have any questions, drop it in the comment section. Or if you have more detailed questions, you can reach me at my website. And all your questions go directly in my cell phone. So I hope to see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned.